Hello everyone. Today we're going to have a look at how we can create um, our own folders of resources in our resource library and how we can then go one step further and turn those folders into resource packs that we can then share with other staff members. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go into our browser which I have got pinned out here. Okay, It's usually found um, on the left hand side of your page and it just rolls in and out if it's missing completely so there's nothing if you hover over the side of your page nothing rolls out don't panic it's very easy to bring back we go to view and scroll down to browsers now there's also a, sh a shortcut for uh, the keyboard so if you're a Mac user it is command B and if you are a Windows user it is control B and that will bring your browser right back now you can probably hazard a guess as to what I'm going to be making um, my resource pack on. My syndicate is going to do a unit on uh, mini beasts or life cycles and so during my planning time I have found these wonderful images on the internet and I'm going to create a folder of resources to share uh, with my students and also I'm going to turn that into a resource pack to share with my staff. Now at the top of our browser we're going to come to the second icon along at the top, the little media sort of symbol there and this is our resource browser. Now we also call this the library. Um, it, it, it is a library of resources. You have two sides to your, res your resource browser. So currently I'm in my shared resources side which is this icon here that I'm hovering over. But there's also a My Resources side. Now, if you click on your My Resources side, you'll probably see nothing in here, okay? I have made all of these folders and my, my resources is very full. I can make a folder in either my My Resources or my Shared Resources. It really doesn't matter where I make it. Um, it's complete preference. Or you guys. Now the first thing I need to do apart from decide which side of my library I'm going to put it on is I need to create a folder. So I will create mine in my my resources and I click on the heading at the top and then I come across and there should be a little note icon there. If there's not click away, click back and voila it will be there. So I click on my little note icon and I scroll down to create new folder and I'm going to call it Life Cycles. Now I need to scroll down my list here. You would probably see it immediately at the top. Mine's very full and I need to click on that folder to highlight it in the list. And you'll notice that down here below the word stem, I have an empty folder waiting to be filled. And it is as simple as this. All I do is I take my image, I drag it down into that empty folder space at the bottom. You'll notice my cursor's changed. I release my mouse and the image is now in that folder. I can also then click on that image and over on the right hand side, I have the option in my little note icon to rename the resource. This is a really good idea if you are going to want to use your search function of your library. Okay, so you need to give it a keyword to search for. Um, we'll just add this fellow as well. Here we go. So I just grabbed him with my mouse, I dragged him down, dumped him in the library, click on him. Click on the note icon on the right, rename, and done. Now I can do this to any type of file. I only have images here, but it could be any type of file, a sound file, a video file, text, pen drawings that the kids have done. It doesn't matter, I can save them. I can even save a page. So here I have a page set up. Now I can't drag my page down into this space. So there's a slightly different way to do saving a page and that is I right click on it 
and I say add resource to library. Now you can see I've got lots of different options here. I could just save a background, I could just save a grid, but in this instance I don't want to do either of those. I want to add my page to the resource library. And there we have it. Now I'll show you the difference. Although the icon is the same, I'm just opening a new flip chart to um, show you here. If I was to pull on my page, it comes on as a page. If I go to my page browser, it's inserted that page. And if I were to pull this one on, it's just an image. Okay. So now that I have created my folder of resources, I want to be able to share that with my staff. As I said, don't fall into the trap of thinking that if you've made it in shared resources, it will automatically be shared with your other staff in the school. That's not how it works. Uh, think of your shared resources as the resources that Promethean have shared with you in the software. So anyone who's using your logon on your computer will be able to share those resources. But if that's not the case, no one else will be able to see them. Your library is effectively your library, whether it's the my or the shared side, if that makes sense. Um, okay, so to share this resource pack with the rest of my staff, I'm going to click on the folder, and on the right-hand side again is my little note icon, and I have the option to export to resource pack. So I click on that, I want my resource pack to be called Life Cycles and I choose where I would like that to go so I'm going to pop it on my desktop okay and I click Save and it is now on my desktop as a resource pack uh, Life Cycles there we go now because I'm running my Mac um, I don't see the beautiful picture that I would see if I were running my Windows machine and that is the symbol for resource packs. If you're on Promethean Planet you'll see the symbol for resource packs. To load a resource pack there's several ways you can do it. The quickest and easiest way is to simply double click on the resource pack um, and it will open. Sometimes with some computers this doesn't work so other staff members will be clicking on the resource pack and choosing to import it here or on their shared side like so and you can also do it from your main menu under file import resource pack to my or to shared resources now obviously I saved my resource pack to my desktop. If you were making it to share with your colleagues, you would probably save it to a teacher shared drive. That way, teachers can access it from anywhere in the school at any time and load it into their library. Um, alternatively, you could have saved it on a memory stick and handed that round. Okay, now the last point I want to make before uh, I finish this little video is copyright. Now, especially if you are searching the internet, there's a couple of points that I have to make. You do need to be aware of copyright. Um, it's very easy to take images off the internet, but I like to cover my butt, basically, and I always do searches um, where the images are labeled okay so you can see here these images that I've searched for butterflies are labeled for non-commercial reuse with modification now how did I get to do that search well there's a couple of ways um, I can show you number one um, if I'm typing in a search here I can then come across to this little cog I'm in Google Chrome but um, different Browsers have um, different ways you can do it. This is how I do it in Google Chrome. I come to Options and I go to my Advanced Search. And 
when I scroll down you'll find at the bottom here usage rights so you can choose what license you would like so I, I chose there free to use share or modify um, because I was only planning to use it within my classroom and perhaps the syndicate teachers within my classroom and we're not planning to sell this um, if you were planning to sell anything I suppose you would do even commercially on your search okay and that was what brought up the images that were labeled for that so these are all licensed for me to be able to use them in the way that I've explained now the second way you could do a search if you can't find on your um, internet browser anywhere a way to do that you could go through Creative Commons so the Creative Commons website um, in Australia creativecommons.org.au and in New Zealand it's the same except it's .nz okay and you can read all about um, Creative Commons, basically um, a licensing uh, organization. And I'm just going to scroll here and say finding Creative Commons licensed materials. And on the right at the top under quick links, I choose looking for free images, etc. Then I would type in here butterflies. And I choose which one I want. Again, do I want to use it for commercial purposes? Well, no, I don't want to sell anything. Um, but I want to be able to modify it, adapt it, or build upon it. And here are all of the different um, places I can look. So I could go to Clip Art. I could, again, go to Google Images. Um, I could go to Flickr. So this one's quite nice because it's got all of the different places I can go. In fact, let's go to Clip Art and just see what is there for butterflies. There we go. Quite a selection. Okay, so these have all been licensed, free to use, to modify, adapt, or build upon. Um, I do encourage you to adhere to copyright. Um, better safe than sorry. Okay, thanks for joining us today, everyone. Hope you've learned something new.